made with red chilies, ginger and garlic, prawn or shrimp and vinegar, this sweet, salty, sour and spicy goan prawn bao chow will have you drooling. I'm going to start with 15 Kashmiri chilies. This is about 35 grams. Kashmiri chilies do not pack much heat and they impart a wonderful color. You can avoid the seeds if you want to reduce the spiciness. I don't mind the heat, so I'm just going to break them up into smaller pieces. If you can't find these chilies in the Indian store, you can buy them on Amazon. Cover this with 3 fourths of a cup of vinegar. I'm using Goa vinegar, but malt, red wine or any other vinegar will work. Leave this alone for about an hour. I'm using the vinegar to soften the chilies a bit, but it will help to grind it to a smoother paste later. Now that they've softened, I'm going to add these to my processor carefully. Top this up with all of the vinegar. Add one teaspoon of cumin seeds and a half teaspoon of black peppercorns. And I'm going to keep grinding this till I can get it as smooth as possible. Do not add any water. Next, I have one and a half cups of oil, but I'm only going to start with about a tablespoon or so. I'm going to saute 300 grams of prawn or shrimp that I finely cut. I'm also going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric. Now let's talk about these prawns. As far as I remember, bal chow is always made with prawn that's cut into small pieces. Some recipes use whole and some also include dried shrimp. Some people like me prefer to cut their prawns raw, while others like to cook it first and then cut it as it's much easier. It really is a personal choice. I like to chop it with a sharp knife raw as I like how the pieces get caramelized all over. Once it's ready, remove it and keep it aside. Add most of the oil and 500 grams of finely minced onion. This is roughly three medium onions. You can finely mince this by hand or just pulse it in your food processor. Cook this till it's a light golden brown, stirring frequently as we don't want the onion to get too dark. Next, add 35 grams each of finely chopped ginger and garlic. This was roughly 10 cloves and a 2 inch piece of ginger. Saute this for another 5 minutes. Now add in the vibrant masala paste you made and mix it with the onion. Scrape every bit in. You may be tempted to use water, please don't. You can add an extra tablespoon of vinegar to the jar to release the masala. Now add in the prawn or shrimp and coat in the masala. Add the rest of the oil and season with salt and sugar to taste. Some like it more on the sweet side. For me, I prefer it not too sweet. So taste and adjust according to your preference. Bottle this and allow it to mature for about a week before you devour it. You can keep it out of the fridge if it's cool in your kitchen, but I always prefer to store this in my refrigerator. Enjoy. Thank you.